Welcome to the 17th video in the JFENIX tutorial series guys. In this video I am going to show you how to use the JFX masonry pane. A JFX masonry pane is a container that automatically arranges the position of its children based on the free space available. So this is the assemble masonry paint program that I have created and you can see that these are all labels I have created labels with random width and color width height and color and you can see that when I change the width of the program or the window uh, the items the labels are arranging automatically so this is the JFX masonry pane and let's see how we can do that so you can create an instance of the masonry pane using the JFX masonry pane I'm using a simple Java FX program since you can't drag and drop the JFX masonry frame in the scene builder so you can create a JFX masonry pane using this constructor and I am going to create a set of labels I'm going to create use a simple follow for creating hundred labels and going to use a simple label from the Java FX dot scene dot control. So label LBL equals new label. New label. And I want to set the size of the label. I can do that by set preferred size and I want to create a random size so I have I can use the random class from the java.util package so random r equals new random I want to create a random number between 0 and 200 in this case uh, for just demonstration so I'm going to use the next I next int and inside that I'm going to pass 200 so the value generated the random value generated will always be bit in between uh, 0 and 200 and I'm going to do the same for the height also so we have generated a random color for the label and next thing I will have to do is to add the label into the JFX masonry pane so root dot get children dot add and I am adding the label so that's it now we have set the uh, created a scene by passing the JFX masonry pane and let's run the program. We haven't given the color yet but we can see what's happening. Uh, since we haven't given the color and any uh, text we can't differentiate between uh, each label. So let me give you a color. So label dot set style and I'm going to use the CSS styling FX background color and it's an of RGB form and inside that RGB I'm going to create R dot next int and I have to create a value between 0 and 255 for the red and after that there will be a comma and after that I want a value between 0 and 255 there is a comma after that then 255 value and that's it we give the style now let's run the program so there is an error I haven't <laughs> closed the bracket so giving the semicolon okay now as you can see we got different size labels so this is it this is what we have uh, seen in the first and that's it that's how you use the masonry pane in your program guys one more thing that I have to show you is if you find yourself in some kind of error like this there is no de class definition found error or get free area error when you use mason repaint all that you have to do is to download the latest source code from the GitHub page of JPhoenix and after downloading that you have you will get files like gridlu and gridlu bad and in windows you have to use this file and in linux you can use this gridlu file after navigating your command prompt or cmt into this page you have to run gridlu build first so it will build the jar file from this source code depending upon your environment and will create a jar file at this uh, uh, build bar dist folder and if you use this jar file there will be no such kind of issue so if you find yourself some kind of error when you use the fx masonry pane then you will have to do that so as always thank you for watching this video like the video if you like it and subscribe for more cool videos